According to NBC, the Russian lawyer who met with Trump Jr. about compromising material on Hillary Clinton was actually accompanied by a Russian-American lobbyist who also just so happens to be a former Soviet counterintelligence officer who is suspected of having ongoing ties to Russia. Now, the network isn't naming the person who's denied any ties to Russian spy agencies, but he was there during the June 2016 meeting with Trump Jr., Jared Kushner, and Paul Manafort, along with a Russian translator. So a little background on this mysterious lobbyist. He served in the Soviet military and later immigrated to America, where he now holds dual citizenship. The fact that he was even at the meeting with suspected intelligence ties to Russia is a big deal. Rob Goldstone is the music publicist for the Russian pop star Emin Golarov, whose dad is a powerful billionaire with ties to Vladimir Putin. Goldstone is the one who arranged the meeting at Trump Tower. And if you really don't think Trump still has ties with this family, think again. I have nothing to do with Russia. Haven't made a phone call to Russia in years. Don't speak to people from Russia. Not that I wouldn't. I just have nobody to speak to. Emin, I can't believe you're turning 35. You're getting older all the time. But you're a winner, you're a champ, you're great at real estate, and boy, can you entertain. Trump Jr.'s lawyer claims his client didn't know about the lobbyist's background when he agreed to the meeting. And of course, the president continues to defend his son's decision. My son is a wonderful young man. He took a meeting with a Russian lawyer. Most people would have taken that meeting. It's called opposition research, but nothing happened from the meeting. After releasing the emails proving the meeting did take place, Trump Jr. said, in hindsight, he probably would have done things a little differently. Yeah, I'm sure that's how everyone feels after they've just been caught in a huge lie. I'm Valeria Sistrunk, and for all the latest updates on politics and more, visit content.news.